What's up guys, it's Kelly. So today I am doing another quick Nail Polish 101 video for you. If you remember, my last Nail Polish 101 video was all about how to keep your nail polish from chipping or peeling. I'll put a link to that in the description as well as in the cards right here so you can check that out if you're interested. So today's video is going to be all about how to clean up your manicure. What a lot of people tell me they do is they'll just be like really heavy handed with their nail polish and they'll just paint it kind of all over their skin. And then later on when they're in the shower, they'll like peel off that excess bits on their skin. And and I just feel like that's too much. Like I want my manicure to be perfect like when I'm done with it, like not hours later when I'm showering. So I like to do my cleanup immediately. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I feel like this is a question that I get asked a lot about and it's really easy. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So let's get into it. Okay, so there are two main tools that I use to clean up my manicures. One is what I call a cleanup brush. It's actually a concealer brush. I get these e.l.f. ones. That's a makeup brand. This is for concealer. They're a dollar. I just buy them in Target or Walmart. You can also buy them online. I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy them online, but literally I just buy them in bulk. Like I buy 10 at a time. They don't last forever. Like I'd say each one lasts me like a month or two or three months. And basically what I do is I will dip this into the second tool that I use, which is acetone, which is just pure nail polish remover. So, you know, the nail polish remover that's totally clear and it says like 100% acetone on it, that's gonna be your acetone. That's what you gotta use. Regular nail polish remover doesn't really work for cleaning up around your skin. But yeah, so I will take my e.l.f. cleanup brush and I will dip it into my acetone and then I will clean it up around my nails, which I'm gonna show you guys a little close up for how to do that. One thing that you can do with your acetone is you can just pour it into the bottle cap and just use it like that which is what I always used to do. And then I just got, I don't remember even where I got it, but I just got this little like container that I hold my acetone in now. You can also use a shot glass if you want, or you can just dip it directly into the bottle, but then your acetone's gonna get a little dirty because when I'm done cleaning up my manicure, I'll usually dump the extra acetone because sometimes it like gets all the old nail polish in it, especially if I'm using a dark or sparkly color. Now I'm gonna show you how I do it. All right, so I'm just gonna start off by painting my nails a little bit sloppier than I would normally. Now I do actually paint my nails not perfectly and this is the trick that I always use, but a lot of people, like I said, tell me that they'll just clean this off after the fact by wringing their hands under water, but I think that might take a little while. Plus, you don't know if that's going to actually mess up the manicure itself, so that's why I like to do this trick. So I'm gonna take my acetone, which I keep in this little container, as well as my cleanup brush, which is actually the concealer brush, and I'm going to dip my concealer brush into the acetone and I'm just gonna start cleaning up around the outer edges of my nail on my skin. So you can see that when I'm doing this, I am actually getting a lot of polish onto the brush and I'm just gonna dip that into the acetone. You can see it's clouding up the acetone a little bit and I'm just gonna keep on working. So I like to do this when the polish is still a little bit wet because I just find it's a little bit more malleable, but you can do it either way. And another thing I like to do is I'll angle the brush so that a little bit of the bristles are underneath my cuticle and that just helps me get that really clean line underneath so that you don't see any of that polish. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to apply my top coat. It is easier to apply the top coat after you do all your cleanup because the top coat would just be one more barrier. And because acetone does really ruin your skin, I always apply lotion or cuticle oil right after. And then this is the complete result after doing all that cleanup. So that is it for this super quick cleanup video. Hope you guys found it helpful. Give it a big thumbs up if you are excited to see the next Nail Polish 101 video. Leave me a comment below letting me know your tips for cleaning up your manicures. And that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.